Today I'm gonna see what it would be like to live on other planets. And we're also gonna blow up a bunch of things because this is Solar Smash. What is going on TFG Squad? My name is Brandon and welcome back to Solar Smash. So a few weeks ago the game got a big update and we're gonna explore everything that I haven't seen yet. So what we're gonna do mostly today, we're gonna start looking at some of the new planets. So if I go to the solar system, they've added a lot of variants to the planets, if you will. So if I go to Venus, for example, and I, I didn't want to actually go to Venus, I wanted to show you what Venus looked like. Oh, God, let me go back. So if we go to Venus and I go to the right, there is now a secret terrestrial Venus. Now, I don't know exactly what that means, but I think we're going to learn about that later. Also, if I scroll down, we've got planet Earth, uh, uh, cube Earth, Donut Earth, Flat Earth, and then we've got the brand new futuristic planet. If we scroll down, we now have a terraform Mars, which would be like Mars if we tried to live on it. And we've got a secret Mars, which from the picture, it kind of looks like cube Mars, but that's another thing we're going to explore. And we're going to explore all the other secret planets in this game. So let's start with my main man, Mars. This is the guy we know all about. We're going to go terraform Mars. Wow. Okay, this is cool. So this is what Solar Smash thinks Mars would look like if humans take over and, and oceans form and, and grass and plants and trees form. This is actually really cool. So they predict that there would be 3 billion people living on planet Mars. Hey, you know what? Maybe in a few hundreds thousand years we'll all be living on mars i don't know all right so let's see what happens here of course we're gonna move on to the planets and then blow them up because like i said this is solar smash and blowing things up is very fun so the first thing i want to go to i want to go to the brand new ghost now i was calling him a blue strong ghost you guys told me his name is the Giga Chad. Okay, clearly I'm too old and out of touch to have realized that. But let's spawn in the Giga Chad on Terraform Mars. And I just want to see this thing. Ready? Here he comes. He's jacked. He's strong. And he's angry. And he just punched a hole through Terraform Mars. You know, that's got to be frustrating. Planet Earth died. We had to move to a brand new planet. And then Giga Chad punched a hole through it. How many people died? Okay. A, a little more than half. So now we've got um 1.255 billion people living on Mars. I really hope I lived on this side of the planet. That would... Probably be a little bit safer. So I'm pretty sure the Giga Chad is stronger than the old ghost. I think I named him Tyke Mycin. It's like Mike Tyson, but you, you know, you flip the T and the M, but I think you guys got that already. I just want to see how much stronger Giga Chad is than Tyke Mycin. So here comes Mike Tyson, Tyke Mycin. He looks cool. I think I might like the purple ghost better, although, yeah, he is nowhere near as strong. So this is the crater that Tyke Mycin created. It's big, it's beefy, it's intimidating. But if we come over to this side, that is the crater that Giga Chad created. That is way bigger. Is anyone still alive on Terraform Mars? 655 million! That's not bad. Yes, 2.36 billion people have been punched uh, from a giant stellular ghost. Stellular? Stellar? I don't know. I'm just making up words at this point. But hey, we've got 665 million people still alive. Now I don't wish I lived on this side of the Earth I, or planet. I wish I kind of lived somewhere up here. Seems like the safer spot to live. If you guys want to see more Solar Smash on the channel, hit that like button and subscribe right now. It would be very nice of you guys and it would make me happy. Okay, so let's move on to the next planet. So we already did Terraform Mars. What's the one to the right of that? This one's locked. So I think I have to watch an advertisement, which you guys know I hate, but I will do it to see what this new Mars is. Oh, it is Cube Mars. It is Cube Mars. So they had Cube Earth. Now they have Cube Mars. Okay, so we've got some flat earthers out there. You know, people that think planet Earth is flat. Apparently, we've got some Cube Marsers. Is that a... That would we would call... I don't know. I mean, you could literally look in a telescope at Mars and see that it's round. But you know what? <clears throat> Maybe some people think it's cubed. Okay. Solar Smash does not believe anyone would survive on cube Mars, considering it says there are zero people. But we're going to pretend, for the sake of this video, that there's 
7 million people living on cube Mars. Let's blow them up because it's gonna be fun. All right, so we don't have a new dragon. We don't have a new uh, octopus thing. I don't even think we have a new snake, but we do have a new plague or swarm or whatever you want to call it. So this is what like, they looked like originally. They were creepy and scary and made an eerie sound and they ate planets whole. Okay, that was probably about a hundred of them. Now I already showed you guys this thing before but they actually added man-eating killer bees to Solar Smash now, which is, oh, I hate, I hate when they fly at me. Hate when they fly at me. Okay, it, it, Mars kind of looks like a pepperoni pizza now. If, if one of the pepperonis was really big and the rest of them were very small and also on fire and filled with lava. But let's move on to the man-eating go- uh, ghosts. I meant to say bees. The man-eating bees. Look at these bad boys. They kind of look like the bees in Minecraft. I think I said that last time. But these bad boys are fierce. Oh, I'm going to spawn in too many of them. I'm going to spawn in too many of them. Look at that. They are literally eating Cube Mars whole, which um, I would feel bad about. But like we said, nobody lives here anyway. I guess we pretended that 7 million people live here. But we all know nobody would survive on Cube Mars. I don't even think a planet can be Cube because it literally forms by spinning. Right? And, and that kind of uh, rounds the edges and smoothens the surface. Again, this was science with the TFG, and half of the things I say during science with the TFG are probably wrong. But I think they're right, so I'm, I'm trying to teach you guys science here. Okay, Cube Mars is way too cool not to continue to blow up, so I want to do something else. I want to pull out the brand new planetary destroying laser man. Where is he? Where is the planetary destroying laser man? That's him right there. And now we've got the choice. We've got an option with the planetary destroying laser man. First things first, I'm going to make him, uh, let's go frustrated gamer purple because it's more fun. So we can either go, you know, we're going to go with both. We, we're going to go with both because we, we can't, I'm struggling. <clears throat> I'm so excited right now to play Solar Smash that I've got phlegm in my throat. That was disgusting. None of you guys wanted to hear about that, but you know what? That's fine. Okay, so we're going to go with the regular planetary destroying laser man there and the new one there and we're just gonna see what happens i assume the planet's probably gonna be destroyed in a beautiful spectacle of explosions and fire and probably a couple other things too okay here we go they've already oh no oh you can see the planet is disintegrating at a faster rate both of the planetary destroying laser bands are out wow I don't know how you could have a bigger explosion than an entire planet exploding, but that was definitely it. If we scroll out, oh, yeah. Yep, Q's, Cube Mars is not real anymore. It had a lifespan of about three minutes. <laughs> Moving on to the next planet. I want to explore Venus. This is the one that I'm actually really looking forward to. Really quickly, before we go to Venus, I just want to show you guys. I already looked at this last time. This is the brand new... 2100 planet earth this is what solar smash thinks planet earth will look like in basically 100 years like the, the, the 88 years from now basically the sea levels have risen the populations have risen and uh half of the united states is now an ocean so you know what that's not a planet that i want to live on but you know what let's blow it up while we're here so we're gonna go with uh what are we gonna blow it up with hmm Let's go with the nukes. Let's go with the nukes. I don't... Oh, is that an... Oh, no, that's the healing nuke. Okay, so we're gonna go, uh... Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Yep. If this is a planet that I'm not living on, I don't want it to exist. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't... If I can't be there, nobody can. That's my take here. Oh, man. Oh, mama. Wow. Okay, now it kind of looks like a half-eaten apple that was thrown into a volcano and then um, someone uh, put it on fire. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Okay, yeah, I really don't want to live on this now. If I didn't want to live on futuristic Earth before, now I really don't want to live on it. Okay, let's explore Venus. That's what I'm really excited for. So if we go to Venus now, this is what Venus normally looks like. It's covered in a dense, thick, cloudy fog that's a, it's an atmosphere. I don't know. That's what I'm guessing, at least. If I fire one nuke at Venus, it'll probably kind of go through the clouds, right? Like, you won't see the surface here, right? It's going to go... Oh, okay. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I stand corrected. That nuke's going to implode on itself, and then... Oh! Oh! 
Okay, that's not what I expected. Apparently, if you fire a nuke at Venus, it will evaporate the atmosphere. Maybe that's true. I don't know. But now Venus is just kind of a, a lifeless rock. I guess it was kind of a lifeless rock before, but it was like a lifeless rock with clouds around it. Now it's just a lifeless rock. But if we go over here, there's a brand new Venus. It's called Terrestrial Venus. I don't know exactly what that means, but I'm going to watch an advertisement and we're about to find out. So this one is just called Venus? No! They didn't even finish the second parentheses. That's how scary this planet's gonna be. Let's click on it in three, two, one. Uh, uh, three, two, one. Oh, oh, achievement unlocked. Where did the clouds go? Oh! So this is Venus if it had no atmosphere. Well, that's kind of what I just did by shooting a nuke at it, but you know what? Let's try this again. What's this one? I don't remember what this weapon is, but we're about to find out. What's it doing? Let's speed things up a little bit. Let's... Oh. Oh! Oh! Is it just gonna keep doing this? Oh. Well, that wasn't really much of a weapon. Let's fire, um, 100 missiles at the top strength, uh, directly at the, uh, rock that we call Venus, and let's see what happens. Oh. Okay, well, once again, I would say nobody lives there anymore, but nobody lived there from the beginning, so... It's really not that tragic. I'm trying to remember all the weapons in Solar Smash because it's been so long. I don't remember what this one down here does. So let's test it on Venus. Three, two, one, go. What did that do? Oh, I probably have to press that bomb button and it'll explode. Oh, I forgot about this one. This one's good. Oh, I didn't even hit the button there and it exploded. All right, you ready? We're going to blow it up in three, two, one. Oh, gosh, that was satisfying. Okay, well, we've got, like, just the... I don't even know what to call this. It's basically an asteroid at this point. So let's take out the planetary destroying laser, man. You guys know the rules. Three, two, one, and... Venus is about to not exist. Maybe not. What are you, planetary destroying laser man proof? Why did that not work? Hey! Okay, no planet has ever survived the planetary destroying laser man. Is Venus just too pathetic to blow up? Now I'm upset because we officially found a planet that is uh, planetary destroying laser proof. And it's literally just a rock floating through the sky. Check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs. And I will see all of you in the next video.